Hold on. Want to make an animated video with one consistent character and do it for free using Grok AI? Watch this. Yes, you heard that right. Most people already know Grok AI can generate cool images and short clips. But what almost no one realizes is that it can actually create full-length videos with the same character and a consistent style from start to finish. <laughs> Wait, you want to paint with me? Look, it's spreading. We're making it alive! We really changed everything, didn't we? Yes, and we did it together. In this video, I'll walk you through the exact process, step by step, from generating your first idea, and turning it into AI images, and finally into smooth animated videos, all using Grok AI. I'll even show you the simple trick I used to create this 60 second cinematic video. No extra tools, no complicated editing, just pure AI magic. You'll learn how to keep your characters consistent, make your videos look professional, and grow your YouTube channel faster than ever. So sit back, relax, and if you enjoy learning about AI tools and creative workflows, hit like, subscribe, and let's dive in. The first step is to create a script for your animated story. For this, I'm using ChatGPT, but you can use any AI writing tool you like. The key here is to be super specific about what you want. I'll give ChatGPT a detailed prompt that includes the style, length, and main story elements, so it can generate a script that perfectly matches the tone and visuals I'm aiming for. And just like that, ChatGPT gives me a complete story outline, with every scene smoothly connected to the one before it, so the whole thing flows like a real cinematic video. And boom! As you can see, ChatGPT just gave us all our scene-by-scene -scene prompts, ready to go. Now it's time to open up Grok AI and start creating. So once you open the Grok AI website, the first thing you need to do is log in to access the Imagine tool. I'm signing in using my Google account. It takes just a few seconds. And just to be clear before we get started, uh, I'm not a paid Grok user. Everything you're about to see in this video was created using the free plan, so you can follow along and do the exact same thing without spending any money. Once you're logged in, click the Imagine button in the top left menu. From there, you'll see a huge gallery of examples, images, videos, animations, and more. Now, let's create our first scene. First, if you want to change the aspect ratio for the final video, you can adjust it here. Now, go back to ChatGPT, copy the prompt for scene 1, then paste it into Grok, and hit Send. Grok will generate several image variations for the scene. Choose the version you like best. Click on the version you selected. You can add the voiceover if you like, or you can generate the voiceover in 11 labs. Then click Make Video. Within just a few seconds, your video clip for scene one will be ready. And here it is. In a forgotten city where color had vanished. Now let's move on to scene two. Simply copy the scene two prompt, paste it into Grok, and hit Generate. In just seconds, Grok creates a brand new set of images for this scene. I pick my favorite image, then click Make Video to turn it into the second clip. Now, if you want to create a long, continuous story video with 100% character consistency, here's the trick. Play your Scene 2 video all the way to the end. At the final frame, right-click and copy that image. Next, go to the Imagine section in Grok and paste it into the prompt box. As soon as you do, Grok automatically begins generating a new video starting from that exact last frame, keeping your character design and lighting perfectly consistent. Now, here's the video Grok created from that last frame. But as you can see, it doesn't quite match the visuals we want for scene 3. To fix that and make it align perfectly with your next scene, we'll head back to ChatGPT. Copy the Scene 3 prompt, then paste it along with the last frame of Scene 2 back into Grok. Click Make Video, and within moments, your Scene 3 clip will be ready, this time with flawless character continuity. Young. He was shy, afraid that no one would care. To generate Scene 4, just repeat the same process. Go to the final frame of scene 3, or any frame you want to start your next scene, copy it, 
and get ready to paste it into the prompt box. But before you do, make sure to disable auto generation. Just click your profile icon, go to settings, open the behavior tab, scroll down, and turn off automatic generation. This ensures your transitions remain smooth and every scene connects seamlessly. Now go to the Imagine section and paste the copied frame from Scene 3 into the Grok Imagine box. You'll see the frame appear instantly. Next, copy the Scene 4 prompt from ChatGPT and paste it below the image. Hit Send, and within seconds, bingo! Our Scene 4 video clip is ready. But the moment he began... All right, now it's time to test how well this AI generator can bring my character to life through speech. I'm entering this prompt to create an animated talking version of my character and see just how natural the results look and sound. <laughs> Wait, you want to paint with me? Okay, that's adorable, exactly what I imagined. The speech is really clear and the voiceover fits perfectly with the character's look. Now, let's see if this AI can handle something a little more challenging. Two characters talking in one scene. I entered a new prompt in which I chose both characters and include the exact lines of dialogue they need to say. All right, let's hit generate and see what happens. Look, it's spreading. We're making it alive. Wow, that's incredible. One prompt and it perfectly captured the look I wanted. Both characters are speaking clearly too. Once all your scenes are ready, just click here to view your full collection. As you can see, I've created several scenes already, and the best part is you can recreate them as many times as you want, totally free. To download any scene, just click on it and hit the download button. Now that we have all our scene clips ready, the next step is to edit them together into one long YouTube video. You can use any editor you like, but I'm using CapCut for this. First, import all your clips into CapCut, and place them on the timeline in the correct order. Next, change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 and adjust the size of each clip so everything fits properly. Play through the clips to make sure the scenes flow smoothly together. You can also add transitions to make the video more cinematic. Finally, add the captions to complete the edit. And this is the result. Color had vanished. Numb. He was shy, afraid that no one would care. But the moment he began... The city began to breathe again. But doubt whispered, You're not enough. <laughs> Wait, you want to paint with me? Look, it's spreading. We're making it alive! All right, that's a wrap for today. We just explored how you can turn your ideas into full-length AI videos. I'd love to hear from you. What did you find the coolest part? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I really enjoy chatting with you all there, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos.